Hello everybody, Mr. Pilgrim here coming at you with the fourth video in our Platinum Trophy Guide for Hellpoint. In the last video we'd gone through the Alma Mater Atrium and defeated the Consumer Boss and then we backtracked to the Ikari Walkways. And there's a reason for why we backtracked to that spot specifically which we'll probably go into in this video. But for the time being, we're just going to be heading into and doing Union Park. Now this area is pretty straightforward as uh, most of the things that can be found aren't really worthwhile as I would say. But like I said, the tribal is off to our left if you haven't started his um, quest line and all that. Uh, I'll probably leave another link in the next time that we see him but from here you're basically just gonna head for that building off in the distance and I'll try and show you if I can there are a bunch of uh, smaller celestial beasts as you'll see right there right in front of us and then there's a couple of the um, artillery guys as you'll see like so who will be shooting at you so I'm going to quickly deal with that before uh, continuing on. Alright, so I do, like always, highly recommend exploring the area fully and ga gathering all of the items and materials that you can, because you never know when you might need them. Now the first thing I will talk about though is when you come up to this set of stairs here, you'll actually have another set leading down into this small room right here. As you'll see, this is the first of many uh, interactable, uh, I forget the terms that they're called, I believe obelisks that you can uh, interact with and head to the uh, underworld. Basically, this will act. that area will act as a copy of this one, except it will be flipped in a sense. So the stairs that I've gone up will be on the right side instead of the left, so on and so on. And there will be new enemies and new things to pick up on that version of this area. Do note that there is a boss for that area, and in some places when you do that, this will actually allow you to talk to and join the boss of certain areas beforehand, which will come into play much later on. But once you're ready and head into the main building here, we can then go be on our way. Now this is the our praying hostess. She's a pretty easy boss. As you can see, it's she's not too terrible. Like all bosses, I try and say get behind them if you can for more damage. But if you can't, that's okay. She does have a couple of combo moves that she can do, so do be careful of that. The main attack you want to go for is that one where she will do the activation of her weapon. As you'll see though, not a tough fight. Much like the consumer, she can cause a status effect to your character, but it doesn't last all that long, it is only temporary. She'll also have this one move where she'll rip, um, let down her mask, and I assume it does a bunch of AOE damage to you 
as well. But once you are done with that, you will get the hostess trophy. And as you can see from here, you have your next breach. So from the breach, there's only a couple of things to talk about here, as there are no enemies here in this area at all. There's just a bunch of bookshelves that you'll find right here, as you'll see, and there'll be specific books pulled out that you can interact with, like this one right here. As you can see, by interacting with this one specifically, you can gain the knowledge of the piercing of dimensions. Now this is one of the uh, quest related items to the architect, so you can now head back to him and continue his quest. But I do highly recommend exploring this area as it does have some optional uh, items and things like that that you can find. As you'll see, the area isn't that big and it does have some stuff off to the sides in some of the rooms mainly I believe at the end here you'll find some items of course and information and you'll also find the Omni Cube Quantum Light this one is actually going to be very specific and helpful for uh, certain aspects of the game because uh, certain uh, things can be revealed with that uh, Omnicube ability. Which is uh, pretty cool. It's basically a way of seeing hidden things in the game. Like if there's hidden uh, little walkways that you can find, then that will reveal them to you. That way you can actually stand on them, of course. One more thing I will point out though, which is well, just outside and on a side area, is going to be the um, Mind Module Sanity Puppet. Reduce vulnerability to, I'm not sure how I would pronounce that name, but basically <coughs> it is something that you'll just want to have equipped in your mind module because why not so heading back out to Union Park you will simply come back off here to the left at the very top this is where you'll find the second artillery guy and then what you'll do is you'll simply just drop down into this area that has the blue fish and there you can find it so as you can see, I'm trying to just slowly come back down and go to the uh, obelisk. As you'll see, you can come down here now. Now, when in these areas, I'm not entirely sure if there is a time limit or not. I'm not entirely sure, but I have noticed that there is a clock counting down whatever I've been in this world I've never let it fully run out but basically I will try and show you guys some of the important things in this area as well so once you have interacted as you'll see up in the top left it, it does look like a clock I assume that's the amount of time you have left. If I remember correctly, everything should be flipped now. So since I came in on the right side, it should be now here on the left. Yep. As you'll see, everything is just flipped. Now, as you'll notice, there are these darker uh, 
things that you can pick up but the first one you really want to pick up is right here it is a breach synchronizer there's another one in this area altogether so I will gladly go and grab that the rest of these are simply just materials as you'll see right here Nile shards I assume that's how you pronounce it I could be terribly wrong as you'll see these are scattered around this whole area you can't leave this area at all so do keep that in mind and there will be a new type of enemy or well I guess I wouldn't say new type but basically this area will be mainly constructed of those enemies and as you'll see right there there is the boss door do note this is a boss that is related to a trophy as you'll see here is the new enemy type pretty easy but let's see if I can find that other breach synchronizer as that is probably the main thing of this area as well as you'll notice there are also um, Archon slavers in the area as the artillery enemies I'm trying to remember which way is which there we go like I said just have to remember everything's flipped But once you are done, you can then go and fight the boss of the area, which will be an Archon Knight. Pretty easy compared to the first time you fight them. But as you can see, we can come down here and hop on these trees. For some sunshades, which are, I guess, kind of cool. And there is the other breach synchronizer. It is off over here, tucked away in the back. Like I said, uh, I highly recommend grabbing all the materials. I do believe you can come back to this area, so if you don't get everything, then you can always come back for them. But once you are done, you can then come over here, drop down, and fight the Archon Knight. Anyways, we'll try this again. Like I said, he's... they're not really health reliable. As you can see, they don't have a lot of health. But the damage that they do is pretty ridiculous. If you happen to die, of course you'll actually just respawn in the area. But once you beat them, you'll get the Archon Shield and you'll be immediately returned to the normal world. But once you are done exploring and all that good stuff, we're actually going to head all the way back to the artillery boss's ar arena, and I'll show you guys where to go to next. Which does seem like a lot of pain because you'll have to fast travel back to the Arcology, then head to our Ikaria walkways, and then head through all of that area. I know, it's, it's a bit of a pain, but just bear with me on that. 
So I'll see you guys once there. Alright, so once you're here back at the Arcology, one thing I will also mention that you can now do, like I mentioned after the um, first boss in this video, is you can now work on the Architect's quest line. So in order to do that, you will have to head back to Soen District, which I would actually recommend doing now, that way you don't forget about it. And then, once again, coming back, and then finally heading to the Ikari walkways, and heading to the artillery boss room. So first, I'm going to diverge, head over to Soen District, and talk to the architect. So I'll meet you guys there, that way you can actually see um, the path and all of that, and what goes on with the architect, to understand how things are going. So yeah. Once you've made it back to this area here with the architect, you can talk with Venus him. Umrę? Rachujki. Sam sumiem. Nie chuj marowy. Dotrzymasz z bali. Now you can finally tell him that you know about the piercing through of the Gdyby rumiem podchodź nurnu. Wyszczypać. Bechum zapor. Promusz moczyć. Nie chuj marowy. Że mój marszczurak. You'll basically want to understand what he's trying to do and what's going on. And then as soon as you're ready to go, you can both leave. You'll basically kind of just follow him. It's an escort quest. I will say he doesn't do a lot of damage, but the upside is you cannot hurt or hit him in any way, shape, or form to ruin the quest. So that is a good thing. There are times where he can get stuck on objects. I don't know why. Basically, you just want to let him lead the way. Doing this will get you some gear and items. You'll get a, I believe, a full set and a weapon. And then once you're down here, you'll basically be taking charge of things. He'll kind of just follow behind you, which is best. Luckily, if he does have to be behind an enemy, he will actually deal some damage. Best thing is just to go through and fight all of the enemies, otherwise he will just end up doing it anyways. I believe. No? Okay. When I tried doing this, he basically just went after every single enemy that he could find. As you'll see, he will go after the demon dude. But then from here, you'll head into this hallway. And you will have to drop down here. And you'll have this kind of tough enemy, as you'll see right here. But basically, you're just going to be going through and... I guess fully exploring or just taking out all of the enemies. Whatever you want to do. You'll eventually end up at a very specific room.
but this area is a, a giant uh, circle. So eventually you will just run around in a circle and it does get kind of annoying. But eventually you should find, I believe, the elevator room. I believe it is up here. Yes, it is up here. This is the room you'll need to find in the area. Once you get here, he will ask for a break. Hot, hot, nurno. Niech we maro. Behum zaporozu par shaviteni. Behum zap. Once you have fully explored the area and are ready to go, you can then talk to him again, and then he will basically lead the way. Depending on how things went, he will either head left or head right. I think left is the better path because you get a full set of gear and a weapon. You have more fighting you'll have to do. As you'll see, he will just charge right in. Man does not care. But you were almost done with the escort mission. Once you head on up and into this room is where you'll find your items. As you'll see right here, the architect set. And then the heater spear. Basically, he will ask you to meet him back at the observatory. Pretty standard. So from here we can just teleport back. So like I said, you're basically going to want to now head back to the Ikari walkways and head to the artillery boss room as you can see I'm in right here. And you're once going to come to the back here and hit to the right. Interact with this button here. And now you can take this to the Arcology Underside. Alright, once down here, pretty straightforward. You'll have your starting area. Do be wary, there isn't actually any um, breaches that you can interact with just yet. But the first thing you want to do is come up here and off to the right. Here is where you'll find the actual um, blueprints for the fixed EVA outfit, which will be 
quite nice to have access to. Now for the most part, this is more of a in-between and side area. So if you want to, you can quickly just skim through it and get all of the items here. And then towards the back of the area, which I'll show you is just over this way, there is a staircase you will have to take, of course. To Actually, no, you don't. You don't have to do that at all. You can just run and find an item down here. The rail wing yard, I think is how it's pronounced. You'll have the uh, these enemies here. Which is always fun. Anyways. But from here you'll come to this back area where you have this daemon. Basically guarding one area. And then you'll have another area just up above us. As you see, interact with this door here. And then if you want to, you can take this elevator up. Or down. This will lead to actually the actual arcology of your side. So from here what we're actually going to quickly do is we're going to backtrack to the observatory to continue the architect's quest line as well as uh, create the uh, EVA suit and repair it. So then we'll go back to the embassy and this will allow us to venture outside and then that will get us another trophy so yeah so once you're here back at the observatory you can find the architect right here there's three parts part of everything for the children then we must Rahuiki. you'll ask him about his plan that he actually said he'd tell us about so then he'll give you the AI path conductor model. So basically, as of right now, you can't craft it. It's just one of those items that you'll have to get the stuff in later areas. So for now, if you come down here to the tech station, you can print some things. So if you look at the uh, AI patch conductor, you will need pulse mineral and a nervous wiring. Like I said, you'll get those in later areas of the game. The Illumina, I believe, is a random drop chance. and can be found in certain areas. The Encilium particles are... You don't have to worry about that. But the main thing that we're here for is going to be the Eva outfits. So you basically just craft it. Once that is done, move on to the next piece. Same before. And then finally the headpiece. Now 
one last thing I'm going to do real quick is just make sure I can actually equip all pieces of the gear. There we go. So now you'll basically head back to the embassy and you remember the secret room that uh, I showed you. If not, that's perfectly fine. I'll just show you guys anyways. Just so you guys can see it visually. Instead of just assuming that everyone will always remember. So we'll just fast travel back to the Great Halls. Alright, so best just to fully equip the Eva outfit right now. As you'll see, we are slow, but that's perfectly okay. As you'll see up in the top left corner, the oxygen symbol is now there, which means that we can now feed outside. I did also learn that the clock in the uh, underworld when you access the monoliths is actually an instant death timer in case it goes off. So do make sure that whatever you're doing in those areas is fast and also <clears throat> required you to do multiple trips. So do keep that in mind. Do note that I think some things have been patched or fixed. So, as you'll see, what I do here, come into this room and activate this. So when going to the underworld, it's best to have two trips planned. The first one is simply just to gather all of the items and materials in the area, and then obviously the second one is to do what you gotta do. So once you step outside of here in your new suit, you will get the one small step trophy. And then for now, we can head back to the area that we were just at and continue on to the other path. Alright, so from the Arcology underside breach, we can then head back up and then head to the other side area. This side area will link back to the Alma Mater Atrium. It is a lot of interconnectedness as you'll soon find out. But there will be one more boss in this video, so do keep that in mind. But it is another Archon Knight, so you will have to have defeated 4 out of 4 to get the trophy, but this will be the second one overall. Like I said, fully exploring the areas is probably pretty helpful. So here you'll have this area, and you'll have this first door here on the left, which will have a staircase in it leading up to this upper area here. And then following it around, you'll have this guy. There we go. You'll have this item here, another healing proficiency in case you don't already have that. Alright, as you can see we're now in the Alma Mater Atrium and you'll have the Eye Tower 2 activation. As you'll notice though, here in this area there is nothing else that you can really do or interact with. So all you can do is come into here and activate this elevator up. And that's what we will be doing.
Now this will lead us right back to that side area I was mentioning before. So if we come out the other way, we'll be actually back at the alma mater atrium. As you'll see just over there. Long ways to run. This is that area that I was mentioning before that didn't really have anything important to deal with. Here you'll find another nerve suit. Do note that if you happen to have any uh, duplicates or things that you don't want, you can scrap them for materials. So then what you'll do is you'll actually activate this orb here and this will raise the tower up and then we'll actually have another elevator that we can take up and this will lead us up to a higher area. So you'll have to call the elevator back down and then we'll ride it back up. I will simply skip the process altogether just to save on some time. Alright, once you are here at the top, I do believe yeah, there is the one path to take. It's a pretty straightforward kind of thing. have a breach though which is nice but the path here is actually quite straightforward not a lot of uh, side stuff that I found anyways there are the uh, one uh, I guess Neil enemies or Nile enemies the weird uh, creepy dudes These guys right here. Perfect example of what I needed when I needed it. But anyways, moving on. Like I said, the area is pretty Coming through into this little, uh, I don't even know what you call this specifically, of course. But here you'll have the main path up. I do believe that uh, <clears throat> all the other stuff is kind of side stuff. As you'll see, it's mainly just side rooms. Nothing too important. And then you'll just have the secret room right here. Which if I, if I remember correctly, you'll also have this pattern and a cognition model and a coin. I was kind of hoping to not pick up any hidden coins on accident to leave them for the end, but oh well. Now then we can head to this area here with these stairs. So in total I should have only collected two coins on purp- or one on purpose to show you guys the coins, <clears throat> and then another on accident. Do not touch the switch, that room is just filled with the enemies. But, 
Now we can head on and just around this corner, you'll find your second Archon Knight to deal with right here. Like I said, these guys are not that tough when it comes to how much HP they have. This one seems to be a little bit more baitable. second one will be defeated and then you will have this breach that you can interact with the Alma Mater Atrium Western Sky Bridge and then just over here you also have the Thurgis Scribe set except for a headpiece of course But that is going to do it for this video. I do apologize for it taking a bit of time in between the third and this video. I've gotten sick again and it has not done my health any good or my voice. <coughs> and the coughing, of course, as I'm sure you guys have been aware. But I have still tried to do my best in research and learning to make sure that this video came out properly of course i do know i skipped a lot of union park and the astrology underside like i said i was mainly just wanting to show you those areas as they are more or less um not super important areas they're more side areas that are connected to other things as well so just keep that in mind for this video as I'm sure it's not actually that long compared to some of the other ones. But once again, this is just helping you guys learn the map um, and things like that. Like always, this has been Mr. Pilgrim. I do hope these videos and guides are helpful and informative in any way, shape, or form that they can be. And as always, I will see you all in the next video.